I did an article regarding Aftershock, the Aftershock Festival that is uh, coming up in October out there in Sacramento, California. Uh, the lineup uh, is their biggest one yet, over 95 bands. And somebody had a question earlier in the chat about, well, are there any J-Rock festivals? Uh, so far, there's none uh, that I'm aware of. Uh, there used to be um, a J-Rock uh, special um, event that would go around to certain clubs, uh, but COVID kind of killed that. So now if you want to see J-Rock uh, and some of your favorite J-Rock bands that uh, actually do come overseas, uh, you can... Uh, Keep up with us, and I'll try to keep you guys informed on some of the festivals where these bands will show up. And Gaijinguys.com, everybody. Andrew, that's where Andrew puts his articles. Yep, Gaijinguys.com. So you can see this article that I just posted at Gaijinguys.com. And we got, uh, of course, the headliners, Guns N' Roses, Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, and then uh, with our Japanese rock bands that have come over for this occasion, obviously the big one uh, returning again is Baby Metal. Uh, who are coming back for another Aftershock Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, there is going to be uh, performances from... Uh, they're not Japanese rock, but I'm sure a lot of you guys know The Who, uh, and that's Who is in H-U, uh, The Who from um, uh, Mongolia, I believe. Is that right, Mongolia? I, I believe know. so, yeah. Yeah. And um, also we got... Looks like Hannah B.A. is on talking there. about Hannah B.A., uh, it's also going to be uh, making their presence known in a couple of festivals uh, here in the United States. So something really exciting to look for. If you're out there on the West Coast, I uh, definitely want to check it out. If you can, mm. tickets are still available from Aftershock's website. Uh, so yeah. if you're looking for, for these bands, this is it. Um, cool. Aftershock. I wish I was on the West Coast, man. I, I, I used to be so happy about all the bands that would come to New York and stuff like that. But ju just this last year, for some reason, they've all decided California is the place to be and not New York City. I'm starting to get a little angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to move out there. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a good thing you brought this up, too, because I totally forgot that I actually have baby metal tickets. In a, and I was like, oh, my God, did I miss the concert? I just had to look up what, where my tickets were. Thankfully, I still have to wait until uh, uh, September for them to get here with uh, for the Death Clock uh, tour. Yeah, in September, they're doing the Baby Clock tour uh, along with the Death Clock from Adult Swim's Metal Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're a fan of that, it gives you another kind of reason to check them out. Uh, so there are tour dates posted uh, in another link related to the Baby Clock tour. Uh, and of course, Death Clock is also going to be at Aftershock. Uh, so they're going to be weaving their way through California while they hit up the rest of the United States, including my city. I'm excited. I got my tickets for Nashville, so I'll be going to Baby Clock in September here in Music City. Sweet. Mm. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll be seeing them in Minneapolis. And I was really grateful they're coming to Minneapolis because almost no one does. <laughs> Except for freaking Baby Metal Man Made this year, apparently. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Tom, I'll start. <laughs> no. Hey guys, thank you for watching. The Gaijin guys this year are really trying to up our game in the Japanese music news space. So we really rely on our Patreon supporters and our members over here on YouTube. So thank you so much. So if you guys can help, consider becoming a Patreon supporter or a member. And you also get exclusive group reactions from all of the guys. Stay awesome, everyone. See you in the next one. See you!